Hello everyone, my name is Nitish Kosik and in this video I will talk about one new feature about your .NET Core project. This feature is about your solution file. This solution file is something that is used to open your application in Visual Studio and it also has some details about all your project and the folders that you have created inside that particular solution. This solution file is represented by .sln extension and if you will have a look on the details inside this file then this is something very complex. But finally Microsoft has fixed this problem and they have created a new file which is called as .slnx and that you will talk about in this video. Let's understand how it looks like. So before having a look on this new solution file, first let's understand how things are working with the current setup. So over here I am using this Visual Studio and the version is so this is the version 17.10.0 and I'm using the preview version. So make sure you are using this version if you want to use this new solution file concept. Okay, so for that, let's quickly have a look on what we have. So I have created this basic ASP.NET Core web application and let's just right click over here and open it in File Explorer. And this is the sample app.sln. If I want to see the content of this particular file, how can you see that? Let's just open this file in this VS code. So I'm just going to drag and drop and you will see what we have over here. Let's just expand it a little bit. So I'm using only one application and I'm having so many details. I'm using this Visual Studio. This is the minimum Visual Studio version and, and this is the detail about my project. So this is the name that I'm using and over here I'm having some global sections and so many things. And to be honest, this is one of the complex file in your .NET Core project. And this file always creates problem if you are going to check in your code by using some GitHub or some other source control repository because so many times you will get some conflicts over there and you will not have any idea what kind of conflicts they are. So to fix this kind of problem, we have a new solution. So let's open the Visual Studio again. And over here now I'm assuming that you have updated your Visual Studio to the preview version. And let's go to this tools options. So we have to enable that feature. And for that, we have to go to this environment and here we are having a section of preview features. All right, just scroll down to the end and here you will notice one feature which is use solution file persistence model. Let's click this one, click on this OK button and there we go. Now this new feature has been enabled in this Visual Studio. And now we need to create that new solution file. How can you create that? So for that we have to go over here in this file and click on this save this sample app solution, the current one, edge. And uh, here we have to choose one drop down. If you are not getting it, that make sure that after enabling that concept, just restart your Visual Studio and you will get this solution. So we are having this one and this is the name of my new solution file. Remember the extension this time is slnx and that's it. Let's click on the save button. It has been saved. Although we are not using that currently in this Visual Studio because we are using the previous solution file. But if I open my code in this folder explorer, then you will see we are having this .slnx new file. And let's just open it in this VS Code editor as well. So how can I do that? Simply drag and drop over here. And this time you will notice that this is extremely simple. We are having only this solution over here. And this is the project that I'm going to use in this particular application. Earlier the CS Pro file also used to be very complex but it was fixed with the .NET Core release. Now finally Microsoft has fixed this solution file as well. Now I want to add one more project over here and for that let's just right click go to this add a new project and this time let's use any sample application maybe this console application next and let's use the default name next next and just create it. After making all the changes, if I would like to open my project by using this new solution file, then let's understand how it looks like. So over here, if I will just double click on this file, then let's see what will happen. Basically, it will ask me to open the default thing. So I'm using this Microsoft Visual Studio version selector. And here you can see that we are having both the projects loaded by using this new file. Now let's understand how things will look like if you are using some complex application because as of now I was using only two basic applications. To understand this concept with some complex applications, I have downloaded two from GitHub. So these are two open source applications and one is this Noob Commerce and another one is this one. So let's just open this Noob Commerce and here we are. And if I will just open the solution file, let's go to this SRC. And at this place you will see that we are having this Noob Commerce.sln. And let's just open this VS Code editor and see how this file will look like over here. And you can see we are having so many projects over here and this file looks like a little complex. And let's just open this one now in Visual Studio. And this time in the solution, you can notice that we are having some folders as well. And this is how the proper structure looks like. 
all the libraries are placed inside this folder then we are having the plugins there are so many plugins and then we are having the presentations and then we are having this test application now i would like to see how it will look like if i'm using this new solution file and to generate this new solution file make sure you have selected this solution over here now go to this file and click on this save this solution edge and again here we are having this option let's use this slnx concept there we go and i'm using the same structure so that we don't have any kind of confusion and let's click on the save button and let's see what we'll have this time let's open this code in this file explorer and here you can notice we are having this new file and this time let's open it in this vs code so where is my vs code here it is and let's open this new file as well over here all right here you can notice few things so here we are having the solution then we are having this configurations and all the folders that you have created in your solution are visible clearly over here that this is the test and inside test we are having this project inside the presentations we are having these two projects inside the plugins we are having these n number of projects over here nothing extra thing is written over here in the previous solution file you can notice that we are having a proper grid over here corresponding to each project and managing all these things were a little bit complex if you will notice in the previous solution file we are having this 420 lines and in this new file we are having only 67 lines of code so this is how things have been improved and this file is extremely easy to understand you can have a look on this file and you can understand how things are working over here and it has all the details this was all about this new feature and remember this feature is under preview now so make sure you use it with the latest version of visual Studio. and if you are having any feedback comments or suggestions then feel free to write everything in the comment section below you can also write your feedbacks and suggestions to the microsoft team directly to improve or if you want to say anything about this particular feature you can do that if you like my content please make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video and share this video among your friends your team members so that they can use this latest feature thank you for watching this video i will see you in the next one Bye-bye.